Hey everyone, it's Kai and I, Eno Thier here. Let me turn that music down a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna play some metal music while I'm doing this. But anyway, so this is my updated altar tour, like I've been promising everybody. Uh, it's in the living room, which I'm not showing the rest of the living room because I was rearranging it. Moving things around, so all the stuff on my bookshelves and my cabinets are all over the place. And I'm not showing that, but anyway, let's get to the point. So this is my altar, as you guys have already seen. And why did it zoom in? It's not what I wanted to do. Bad phone. Okay, so, this side of the altar, obviously I always have it dedicated to the female force of nature, the goddess. So let's see, I have my Virgin Mary statue, which was given to me. I use it to represent this goddess energy in general. I have a little dragon statue here. It's actually not a statue, it's actually a um, toy from um, Focus Skylanders. To me it represents my guardian dragon. Uh, my Selenite, Sel Selenite tower. I have this here for feminine energies and help clear out the negative energies of my altar. Uh, I have this, which is actually a little tree root, which to me looks like an anatomical heart. So I keep this on here. I found that in a cemetery. Uh, Della, what the hell was this called? Desert Rose Selenite? Yeah, Selenite. Desert Rose Selenite. It's, I love it. I have a little pentacle necklace here. Little pentacle. Funny thing is, I actually purchased this as a new pentacle because I lost my other one and my other one showed up again so I'm just keeping this here on the altar for now. Uh, my statue to my main goddess, my main woman, my main OG. <laughs> just kidding, it's fucking stupid. But you know what I mean, my main go-to goddess is always Isis. This is the candle I burned for her. That's just an altar candle. Uh, I have rose quartz over here, pink calcite. And I always have these two skulls, those are little salt and shakers I showed a long time ago. I just keep these here to represent balance and whatnot. And of course, my cauldron, which has money in it. I forgot that was even in there. I'll be able to use that later on. I forgot they even had that. My oracle cards, which I do or draw an oracle card every day. It's for the goddess side. Now, the center of the altar is usually supposed to represent the practitioner for yourself. So I have Buddha here to represent what I'm working towards to, become, to achieve balance and peace and wisdom. Uh, I have a quartz crystal here to charge up my altar and also bring clarity when I do ritual. I have my kyanite crystal over there, pink calcite again. My altar paten, which everyone, I have shown this thing a thousand times over and over again. My wands, which I found this one in the cemetery too. Uh, I have a sword here, it's like for obvious reasons, and I also have my athame. This is my temporary altar bell. Because my other one broke when I moved, which pissed me off. I have a lapidolite here, stone. Lapidolite is also a calming stone. My mortar and pestle. Uh, my abalone shell that I use to burn my smudge sticks with. My incense burner, which is a dragon. I'm actually burning, what is it called, dragon's fire? I think it has dragon's blood in it. I can smell dragon's blood in there, but it's not completely just dragon's blood. I also have a dragon statue to represent the element of fire on my altar. I got just this little cute, um... Angel statue that I found at the dollar store for a dollar. I use this to represent my guardian angel. And I also have a St. Michael candle because I do work with the St. Michael, the Archangel Michael for protection. This is just my general altar candle, which is like a five dollar candle that I bought from, let me show you, the dollar store. I usually buy these damn things. I use, burn this whole jar already, which I'm going to empty the wax out and use this jar for like putting herbs and stuff away in. But this is five freaking dollars. Lasts forever and it has actual essential oils in it and everything like that. I highly doubt it has, there's no such thing as essential oil. Or 
I highly doubt it has real frankincense oil in there because it was five bucks, so there's no way in hell. But it still works for the purpose I use it for. I use it as my general altar candle. Anytime I do any form of ritual, anything like that, I like that candle first. That one's the one that starts the whole ritual. I was gonna put it in the middle, but I'm like, no, I want the Buddha statue in the middle. So I put it there. The candle holder that's on top of my grandma Parker gave that to me, so I keep that forever. My main god, my OG, like I was saying, was I saw Isis, which I am so stupid for that. Osiris, he is my main god. He is the one I mostly pray to and work with right now. And then, of course, my bowl for water and salt when I cast a circle and everything like that. Offerings, I don't leave those on the altar. What I do is after ritual, whatever offerings I give to the gods, I go take it outside because I've made the mistake of leaving food on my altar, which was disgusting. It was a disaster, so I always just take my offerings right outside right afterwards. I also have another candle in the back there. It's just an, a general altar candle. And then I think that's literally it. I have another dragon statue. I have a lot of dragon shit. Uh, that's pretty much it for the altar. Now, on the side of the altar here, I have my Book of Shadows. Let me get this crap. This is where I put all my incense and stuff. As you can see, I'm turning into a huge incense hoard. Uh, my tarot cards. And just extra candles and stuff, which I need to restock up on candles. I have that little storage system. My Book of Shadows stays right there. Of all my herbs and stuff like that, I put over there. In my, my herb cabinet, obviously. Um, incense, I decided to put it right here. So it's at my disposal when I need it. I'm not worrying about getting up. I don't even have to stand up to get the stuff. It's just right there. And that's my soon-to-be-old phone. I have a new phone in my hands. So that's pretty much it. I know everyone was waiting for the video. This is my... Oh, and that uh, it's like a star thing that I got from Pack of Tans. I just hung this here to represent the pentacle. And I have... I'm not gonna talk about that necklace. Uh, this is a bullet for my grandpa's funeral when they did the 21 gun salute and this was just a random necklace. But I always keep those there. So that's pretty much it. It is hotter than freaking Hades in here. So I'm gonna go take a cold shower and then I gotta head to work. So that's pretty much it. Until next time, merry part and blessed be.